Hey guys, this is Wheat. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so this morning I posted a video and XXL Epic commented and said that they, that he wanted, or he or she, I'm not sure, wanted some info about Omnibar and how to set it up properly. Um, that one can be quite overwhelming and it's a little bit finicky in some of its setup. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set it up from scratch to make it epic. All right. So first of all, if you don't have Omnibar, um, or you don't know what Omnibar is, Omnibar is an add-on that tracks your enemy's cooldowns. You can get it from Twitch, Wow Up, Curse Forge, a whole bunch of places. Um, just look it up, get the add-on. To open the settings of the add-on, we're going to type slash Omnibar. Now, first thing that we are going to do is, well, f first of all, we're going to set up two bars. Um, the first bar that we're going to set up is going to be called interrupts. So what you do once you go in the settings is go to settings, name, interrupts, change it. We are always going to want to center lock it. Um, and generally I will increase my interrupts bar to be about 58. Um, what I will then do is go into, uh, position. Just make sure everything is pointed to the center. Um, then we're gonna go to visibility, make sure everything's ticked. Then we are gonna go into spells. So for our interrupts bar, we are only gonna be tracking interrupts. Um, and luckily, once you um, set up Omnibar first up, it will automatically have all of the interrupts selected, which is perfect. So we don't need to do a whole lot to this one. What we're gonna do before we get out of this is test it. Um, so for this one, I always recommend having it right below your car, um, below your character. And what you want to do is cast. So you want to make sure that you're not blocking your cast bar with anything that's only bar related, because the last thing you want to do is enter arena and find that you are unable to cast because you can't see. Cool. So that's good for that bar. We're going to go back into Omni bar and then we're going to hit lock once we are happy with the position. We're then going to create a second bar and we're going to call this one spells. Now this is where we're going to track enemy spells and we're going to have it in a different position. Uh, I generally put this below my cast bar. Now, if you're going to have something below your cast bar, you never want to have grow rows upward because when the spells start procking, it will grow up over the cast bar. So because this is going on our below our cast bar, we're going to untick that. We're going to tick center lock. Um, it's up to you whether you have countdown count on. Uh, I generally don't use that, but you can have it on. That's completely fine. Um, we're going to keep this one at the stock size because while these spells are important, we know those spells are going to be there and we don't have to kind of have it large. Um, and having too many large things on the screen just takes away. For me, interrupts is the most important thing. Um, Position, visibility, we can we can ignore here. But we're going to go through spells and I'm going to help you pick the best spells that we should be tracking. Um, so for DK, we want to have Breath of Sinjagosa because that is part of their burst. We want to have Dark Simulacrum because it's good to know when it's being used um, and you know what spell they're stealing. We want to have Anti-Magic Shell ticked, Strangulate, Unholy Assault, Apocalypse, Anti-Magic Zone, Army of the Dead. Gnaw's a nice one to have um, ticked because when they are in the Abomination, when the ghouls turn to an Abomination, it can actually silence you. Um, Icebound Fortitude, it's good to know when they're going to have their CDs. Now, with Interrupts, I always turn Interrupts off on my second bar. So we're going to untick Mind Freeze. Um, Moving on, we will go Dark Transformation. That's part of the burst. And because Shadowlands um, is going to be very good for Unholy, uh, sorry, Frost Death Knights, we are going to tick Chill Streak um, and Pillars of Frost because that's part of their burst. And finally, Asphyxiate and Remorseless Winter. So that's going to cover Death Knights. Uh, I'm sorry I'm breezing through this, but feel free to just pause this video and you know, just click the spells and then unpause and yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. 
All right, moving into D um, Demon Hunters, we are going to have Metamorphosis, Spectral Sight. So this is good. So you can see this pop up basically when they're looking for the rogue on your team. Um, we want to know Blur. We want to untick Disrupt. We want Darkness. We want Eye of Leothorus. This is actually really important because when they use this, a lot of the time your healer won't see. So if you know that they're using Eye of Leothorus, you can um, call out to them to get them to dispel you because all you need to do is dispel it. Um, and then everything else we can kind of leave. Rain from above, we don't really need to know about. Next up, Druids. First thing you're going to do is untick the interrupts. Starting from the top, we are going to track Mighty Bash. We are going to track Alun's Guidance, Warrior of Alun. We're then going to get Celestial Alignment, Thorns, Barkskin, Berserk, Incarnation, Survival Instincts, all three iterations of Incarnation, Ursol's Vortex, and Iron Bark. Coming into Hunter, so we're going to untick there too. We are going to select Coordinated Assault. Um, and then we are going to select Intimidation, Beast Your Wrath, Scattershot, Aspect of the Turtle, Freezing Trap, Aspect of the Wild, um, spider sting is very good. So when they use this, you can see if they've cast it on you just real quickly. Um, if they have, then you can stop casting or you can just start healing um, because it only affects offensive spells. Um, and again, <clears throat> uh, make sure that you've unselected the interrupts and we're going to do raw sacrifice and that'll do it for them. So for mages, again, untick counter spell. Now, some of their main damages, arcane orb, Meteor, Displacement, Combustion, Icy Veins, Ice Block, Mirror Image, Presence of Mind, Arcane Power, Mass Invisibility, Ray of Frost, Ring of Frost, Rune of Power, Frozen Orb. When it comes to monks, we're going to do touch of death um, and then scroll to the top. Storm, wind, earth, and fire. Fists of fury, life cocoon, leg sweep, paralysis, tiger's lust, touch of karma. Pallies, we are then going to have avenging wrath, blessing of sanctuary, divine favor. So divine favor, um, why this is important, if you were very quick, so when I see a pally cast divine favor, sometimes I'm not targeting them. Sometimes I don't have them on focus. Sometimes I might have someone else on focused. What I'll do is see that pop up on Omnibar, then I'll tab to it and dispel the divine favor and dispel them. It's it's super effective, catches them off guard every single time. Um, then we're going to want repentance, hammer of justice, blessing of protection, blessing of sacrifice, blessing of freedom, um, shield of virtue. So prot is quite dominant right now in arena, believe it or not. Um, I don't think it will be in Shadowlands, but right now in the Shadowlands pre-patch, it is. Um, untick Rebuke. We're then going to tick Divine Protection, Divine Shield, Blinding Light. It's crazy how many spells of Pallies are actually super effective. <laughs> um, all right, for Priests, scrolling up to the top. From the top, Pain Suppression, Power Infusion. This is not actually in the game yet, but it will be. And we want to keep track of that. Um, Shadow of Death. This is good to play if you are a, ma a mage or a rogue or anyone who has um, CC that a priest might try and break with Shadow of Death. For me, not that important. I won't tick that. Um, we then want Psychic Scream, Dark Archangel. So once you see this pop up, you know that they're about to use their burst. Um, Guardian Spirit, Dispersion, Psychic Horror, um, we're going to make sure silence is unchecked. We're then going to go Holy Ward, Siphoned, um, and that will do for them. So click on Rogue. We're going to untick Kick. Shadowy Jewel, must have. Kidney Shot, must have. Sh uh, Shadow Steps, kind of up to you. You don't really need to track that one. 
Vanish, we are going to track Cold Blood, Blind, Cloak of Shadows, Evasion. Uh, Shadow Dance, good to know. Um, Shadow Blades is part of their burst. Vendetta, part of their burst. Smoke Bomb. Very important to track Smoke Bomb. You could lose a game very quickly if you don't track Smoke Bomb. Into Shammy's Untick Wind Shear. Um, we are going to take Earthen Wall, Earth Grab, Winfrey Totem, I think, got a buff. So what I'm going to do is start tracking this. Um, Lightning Lasso, Hex, Spirit Link, Spirit Walker's Grace, Counter-Strike Totem. This is always getting put down and people aren't noticing. So make sure you're tracking Counter-Strike Totem. It might save your life. <clears throat> um, we're going to track their wall. Stormkeeper for the massive one-shots. And that'll be about it for Shami's Warlocks. Now, Warlocks are actually very interesting right now for the reason that um, their burst is that, well, their uh, Dark Soul spell, which is their main damage cooldown, is the spell now. So tracking it and is a good idea, first of all, but now tracking it that it can be dispelled, even bigger. So we're going to tick their wall, which is Unending Resolve. We are then going to tick Summon Infernal. Summon Infernal is the second part of their burst. Very important. Uh, scroll down. Havoc is good if you play anything that can dispel curses. If you see Havoc go up, you'll know that a Havoc Coil is about to come. Pretty important. Um, we're going to track both iterations of Dark Soul. Mortal Coil and Shadow Fury. And finally, coming into Warriors, we're going to attack... Um, we're going to select Intimidating Shout. Die by the sword. Disarm. Spell reflect. Shield wall. Intercept. We're going to untick pummel. Berserker's rage. Last stand. Sharpen blade. Sharpen blade is one of their main damage. Jewel is a damage reduction, which is good to track. Blade storm. Avatar. Storm bolt. And then that is going to be it for the spells themselves. Now. What we're going to need to do is move this bar. So what we'll do is we'll do an omnibar, omnibar slash omnibar space test. And then we're going to test these bars. Now, what I'll do is drag that just below my cast bar. So I'm going to start casting. And as I do that, I'll just reposition everything to make sure that it's in the right spot. And once again, like when you're doing 3v3, it's never going to go past this second row, okay? So don't be too concerned that it's actually floating below your um, your spells or anything like that. It is not a huge deal. So again, we're going to slash Omnigar, Omnibar to go back into our settings. I'm then going to lock that. And that is basically it. That is how you set up Omnibar to be tracking everything that's optimal and leaving everything out that you do not need. Um, any questions, please let me know below. Um, otherwise, if there's a way that I can upload my Omnibar for you guys, please let me know and I'll just upload it. And this will be so much easier. This video will be completely useless. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, hit subscribe and um, a comment would go a long way. So thank you so much.